Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Wednesday the 8th of March and uh, we're looking at, uh, on the world front, we're looking at uh, the economy uh, really which is mainly essentially a, a spiritual economy, something with a difference here, we're talking about the, the holiest of holy sites in the whole of India, we're talking about the microcosm of India as it's known, we're talking about uh, Varanasi on the Ganga, the Ganges River and it is the center of many religions. It's essentially Hindu, the population is 1.2 million, and the major majority of them are Hindus, but we're talking about a city on the shores of the Ganges which has 2,000 temples. You've got the Golden Temple of Shiva, you've got uh, nine Buddhist shrines, you've got 12 churches, you've got uh, 15 mosques, you've got three main three Jain Mandirs, as they're known as. Uh, you've got uh, 1,388 Muslim holy places, and it's a, a complete mishmash and uh, religious center for so many religions uh, in this economy. Yes, there is manufacturing, yes, there is trade and commerce, there is service industry, transport and communication, a min minimum of agriculture, but essentially it is uh, an religious economy and we're talking about silk weaving and, and spinning are number one in the area. They make uh, a lot of handicrafts, gold jewelry, musical instruments, um, hand knotted carpets and rugs, brass and uh, copperware, wooden and clay toys. So all, all, all Re revolving around the spiritual economy, which is the center and the heart of Varanasi. They have, uh, tourism is, is a very important uh, econ economy in the region. They have uh, three million uh, domestic tourists a year, uh, 200,000 uh, uh, foreign tourists come in between the tourist months of October and March, and uh, that is the heart of the city, the religious, economic center, spiritual center of India and of most, if not all, religions, major religions in the world. So that's the unusual look at. I hope you found that different and useful and interesting. Bye for now.